Hi everyone, this is Arfin, and today we are going to calculate maximum drawdown of a stock or you can use the same formula or code for any mutual fund or ETF. So let's start. First, I'm going to import library. So I'm going to just create some random list of data. I will also show you how we can do it for some stock. So this is just a sample. All right, let's just do it with this five data point. Let's run this. First, we need to convert list into pandas data series. So for that, it will be pd dot series data. So let's check the type of uh, data, whether it's a list or pandas series. So for that, what we will do, type data. Let's run this. So it's a list. Now here we are going to convert it in pandas series. So let's run this again. Check the type. Perfect. So now it's become pandas series. All right. Now we are going to calculate maximum within the data set. So data dot rolling we are going to find the rolling maximum which means first observation will be this and then in the second from this to this and then in third one 10,000 10,092 and 10,200 fourth this and so on what i'm going to do here is window is equal to length of data comma minimum period one basically we need one data at least dot what we need to calculate maximum Let's run this Let's check what exactly we got so we got 10,000 then this and so on let me do one more thing here so let me just add some smaller number which is 10011 all right so let's run this again let's run this again and we this perfect so here you can see within all these top three observation it's perfectly fine however in the fourth data point which is this one if we compare the maximum within this four data point the highest value we got here is 10200 so that's why instead of 10011 we got 10200 which we can see here so we got our maximum value now we need to calculate a drawdown dd is equal to data divided by max data minus one let's run this let's check downside deviation so this dd is basically downside deviation all right and then finally we are going to calculate maximum drawdown which gonna be equal to drawdown dot rolling window is equal to length of data comma minimum period is equal to one here we are going to calculate minimum let's run this mdd dot minimum into 100 here we go so so the maximum drawdown we got here is negative 1.85 percent all right let's do the same exercise for some stock so i have already downloaded a stock price so let me just bring it here the stock is equal to pd dot read underscore csv r so so let's check first how this data look like all right perfect so we got this data series so just ignore these data point uh, which is nan so what we are going to do we are going to use adjusted closing price so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to bring all this line of code in one place and then I'm gonna update it accordingly. So this is basically here is drawdown, and then this is maximum drawdown here, and the final maximum drawdown. So here I'm going to update it for stock, let's say downside deviation of a stock, maximum drawdown of the stock, and similarly, maximum drawdown of a stock. All right, so here we got instead of data stock. We are going to use adjusted closing price. So it's going to be adjusted closing price. Let me just copy this. And similarly, stock adjusted closing price here. Stock adjusted closing price. And then maximum underscore data underscore stock. All right. And here we got downside deviation underscore stock dot rolling stock 
adjusted closing we got all this information so let's run this and see perfect so the maximum drawdown we got for neo is negative 50 percent so that's it for today uh if you want me to automate this calculation by using python function so please let me know uh you can put it in the comment section below also i would suggest you to try it by your own and if there is any problem you are facing just let me know so we will do it together or i will make a video for maximum drawdown calculation by using python function hope you like the video and hope it's helpful for you please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks